week 24 update. Um, so I'm 24 weeks this week, um, moving right along with my pregnancy and everything is going great so far. So this week, a baby is the size of an ear of corn. Um, not really sure if that's just length or all around as well, but nevertheless, it is the size of a, he is the size of a length of a ear of corn. More things happening on baby's development. His brain is basically developed to that of a newborn, so that's good to know. Um, also, they were saying that all of, if he has any hair, his eyebrows, um, or any hair on his head or anything, or his eyelashes, right now that's all white, um, and the color pigment has not come in yet. So I thought that was kind of interesting. They also said that if you were to, you know, see your baby right now, fully formed, um, like if you did a 3D or 4D ultrasound, you would basically be able to see what baby looked like if he looked more like me or more like the dad, um, just because the face is basically fully formed by now. So that's pretty cool. Symptoms this week, a lot of it is still the back pain. I'm still having um, a lot of back pain and it's mostly just when I'm sitting. If I'm standing and walking around or laying down, I don't have too much problem with it. But if I'm sitting uh, for long periods of time, which I do for work, or if I'm just relaxing in the evenings, my back will really start to hurt. Um, and it's pretty annoying to have to deal with. Um, recently, I went and bought a maternity belt, maternity band, whatever you wanna call it. I'm actually wearing it right now. I put it on the outside of my shirt so you could see what it looks like. Um, and I'll just get up for a second. So this is what I went and bought. It just loops around, it curves at the bottom. So it kind of just wraps at the top, curves at the bottom, and it's supposed to just move the weight so that it's not all on my spine in one place. Um, it does seem to be helping me a lot. Um, although I will tell you that baby does not like it. Baby is becoming more and more sassy as time goes on. Um, he does not like any pressure on my belly at all. Um, and so this maternity belt puts a lot of pressure on my belly just to try to like put like move it up and off of my spine and he does not like it. I constantly feel him kicking up the belt. A couple days ago, Anthony and I were just sitting together and Anthony had his hands on my belly and baby was kicking Anthony like crazy, like get your hands off of me. Um, and so anytime I put any pressure whatsoever on my belly, he is sassy and does not like it. He kicks it. So I thought that was really, really cute. But hopefully the band will help my back a lot. Um, I know you can also do like warm baths or massages or different things like that, but I'm just gonna try this. I don't really care for baths. I'm more of a shower person and I don't really wanna go and pay for a massage. So I'm just gonna try this band and see if it works or not. Do you have any tips on back pain during pregnancy? If so, write it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. My hips still hurt a little bit. Um, it's not too bad uh, later on, like later into this 24 weeks of pregnancy, but more in the beginning, every morning I would wake up and my hips would really hurt. Even though I have a pillow that I put between my legs, it would still really hurt. And I think it's just kind of like the relaxing going through and just trying to like loosen up my my uh, hips and just getting me more ready for labor. It hasn't been too bad towards the end of this week um, and so I've been doing pretty good on that. I've still been really thirsty. I've been drinking a ton which of course makes me have to pee a lot um, and I feel like I have to pee a ton more even more than I was going and I also feel like baby has been kicking me lower um, to the point where I feel like um, if I'm not, I don't know, like he'll just kick me and I'll feel like, oh my gosh, all of a sudden I have to go to the bathroom. So it's like he's kicking my bladder and then I'll go to the bathroom and barely anything comes out. So um, that's been kind of annoying to have to deal with. I haven't been having any swelling or anything like that. I still have my ring on my finger. Um, my shoes still fit. I have been noticing my shoes getting a little more snug though. Um, just like I need more whiter shoes, but that's about it on that front. Cravings, I'm still craving root beer a ton. I love, love, love root beer. Uh, mac and cheese, I have it still about once a week. 
Um, and I am also craving different sweets, um, ice cream being a great one, and chocolate chip cookies as well. Sometimes I feel like I'll have like a hard time catching my breath, just like being able to breathe. Like my ribs hurt, or I just feel like I can't breathe. I don't know if that's baby like up against my ribs, or just like my baby pushing my you know insides up against my ribs. I'm not really sure about that. I'm still continuing to put lotion on my belly and underneath my boobs. I have not noticed any stretch marks on my belly so far and it does seem like the stretch marks on my boobs are starting to go away a little bit So that's really nice. I'm not having any trouble falling asleep at all um, There will be some nights where I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll be wide awake But that's happening happening uh, less and less often um, So I am getting good nights of sleep, which is really nice. I have been experiencing some leg cramps here and there um, some Charlie horses and um, They're not too bad as long as I can flex my foot as soon as I start to feel it. If I don't flex it in time, then it just radiates pain through my whole leg. There are times where I will feel a little crampy, um, almost like I'm about to be on my period or am on my period, um, so I'm not really sure what that's all about, um, but it doesn't happen very often and it usually goes away pretty fast. I feel like my boobs have been getting bigger, especially this week. Um, my bra feels a lot tight, more tighter than what it was and I think I'm gonna have to go get new bras. Uh, pretty soon because I think this just isn't cutting it out for me. My night shirts, um, which are just small t-shirts, um, are now too small for my belly. My belly is just too big. Um, and so I have started to wear Anthony's large shirts to bed at night. So after I outgrow that, I don't know what I'm gonna do for a night for sleepwear. <laughs> like I was saying, baby has been kicking a lot more lately. Um, I feel him all the time. This past weekend, he was kicking up a storm. I've never felt him so active before. I mean, it was just constant kicking for several hours at a time and it was in the middle of the day. And usually I only feel him like right after meals or right in the evening. Um, so that was really fun and um, it's fun. He has his own little personality already and I just love him so much. I cannot wait to see him. I can't wait to see if he looks more like me or more like Anthony, what his personality would be like and things like that. We're still struggling really bad on trying to find a name for him. We cannot agree on names. Anthony doesn't like any boy names at all and I am at least trying and finding some that I like. Um, so still no name. So this week I had my uh, next doctor's appointment um, and so I went to my doctor, I got all checked in, they took me back, um, they took my weight, which my weight, last time I weighed myself, which was yesterday, I believe I was 138 pounds, um, and I started at 123, so gaining here and there. Um, I feel like every time I get on the scale, I gain another pound, and I, I worry that I'm gaining too much too fast, but... I'm trying to watch it. They took my weight and then they also took my blood pressure. Um, and when they took my blood pressure, they did say that my top number was a little higher than what they would like it to be. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, and so they got me into a room and I waited for my doctor and she came in and she talked to me about my, you know, blood pressure and she said it's nothing to worry about right now, um, but it's definitely something that they're gonna watch. Um, obviously they take my blood pressure every time I go to the doctor, so it'll be interesting to see next time if the number is still high or not. Um, she did give me some things to look out for just if I'm feeling like really, really sick, um, really sick to my stomach or really faint or things like that. It's just to watch out for high blood pressure. Um, but she didn't seem too concerned about it. She checked my fundal height, which where they just um, measured my belly to make sure that it was measuring, that baby was measuring um, the right measurements. So um, your baby is supposed to be in centimeters, um, the same number as the amount of weeks that you are. So I was 24 weeks when I went in and baby should have been measuring at 24 centimeters and baby was measuring right at 24 centimeters. So all is good on that point. She also got the heart Doppler out and um, found baby's heartbeat. And of course, you know, baby, he doesn't like any pressure. So she puts it on my belly and um, before she can hear the heartbeat, 
baby kicks right where her the heart monitor is and she was like oh my gosh I think that was just a kick and I said yeah he's a stubborn one he likes to uh, kick anything that puts pressure on my belly so she thought that was pretty funny but she found the heartbeat just fine and the heartbeat was at 160 so that was kind of different because um, in the past couple of appointments the baby's heartbeat had been going down steadily every time I think the last time was at 148 um, and this time it was at 160, so uh, she didn't seem worried about it, so I'm not worried about it. She told me about my next appointment, so at my next appointment I'll be 28 weeks, and at that point I will be doing the glucose test, which is to check if I have gestational diabetes. Um, and my doctor's office is really nice. They actually give you the drink uh, beforehand, and so that way you can just drink it the out like an hour before you need to go in, and then just show up, and they'll take your blood, you know, at the hour mark of when you uh, took uh, drank the liquid. So that was really nice because I read a lot of other people have to take the drink in the doctor's office and then wait in the waiting room for an hour and so it's so nice to know that I don't have to do that. So that'll be good. Um, they had orange or fruit punch flavor so I tried the fruit punch. Um, I'll give you an update in four weeks uh, how that was and if it was yummy or gross or what. Hopefully I can keep it down and not puke it up. Um, she did also say that at my next appointment I will be getting shots yay so I don't think I mentioned this before but they tested my blood and I am a negative thanks dad um, my dad is negative blood type and my mom is a positive blood type and I got that from my dad so I am a negative and of course Anthony is um, B positive or so. he's a positive blood type whatever he is I think it's B positive and or a positive I don't remember but anyway our blood types are different. I'm negative and he's positive. And so because of that, I have to get the Rogam shot. Um, and basically I have to get it twice. I have to get it once now, uh, well, once in four weeks, and then I have to get it once after the baby's born. And that's just so like my antibodies don't attack the babies and things like that. So that's great. And I've heard that that shot is a big shot and it hurts. So I'm just not looking forward to that. Um, and then in addition to the uh, Rogam shot, I also have to get the Tdap shot, which is for whooping cough. So it'll just um, protect my baby from whooping cough before they can he can get the vaccination when he is, I believe, like two months old or something like that. So I'm going to be all shot up and then I have to get blood drawn for the gestational diabetes. It's just not going to be a fun appointment at all. So I'm not looking forward to it, but it's all worth it for the baby and... Um, I know he's worth it, so it'll be okay, but that's what I have coming up in four weeks. Anthony's cousin just recently had a baby, and we went and saw her while she was in the hospital, and it was so sweet to see um, how tiny that baby was. Her nose was tiny, her mouth was tiny, her fingers were so tiny. Um, it was just so cute just to see her and hold her and how light she is. I haven't held a newborn in forever, and Anthony had never held a newborn before at all, and so he's very nervous, didn't know what to do, so we had to make him sit down on the couch and hold the baby um, and he still looked pretty awkward doing it so we'll see how it goes when we have our baby it might just me be me carrying the baby everywhere because Anthony will be too nervous that he'll drop it or you know newborns are pretty fragile so I can see where that can be intimidating so I think that's about it for my week 24 update um, I'm almost done with the second trimester and almost into the third. I'm a little nervous about that because I know the third trimester is when all the negative symptoms come back and I've been feeling pretty good other than my back. So we will see how that goes. But for now, I'm signing off. I'm doing well um, other than my back pain. Um, and then let me show you a belly shot. Okay, so here is what my belly looks like with clothes on. And then here it is um, without any clothes on. So here is belly from the side, here it is from the front, and I forgot to tell you guys, um, my belly button is slowly becoming an Audi. Um, it's very shallow now, and it won't be too much longer before it pops, I know it. Um, I've also, I think I've started to form that dark line um, that goes from your belly button on down. It's kind of hard to see here, but I think I can start to see it form. And then here is my belly from the side. So I definitely think my belly has popped more this week. It's definitely bigger. 
uh, definitely wider and I just feel like it like it just has a I don't know it just has a, a more of a bump and I feel like it's higher up um, this week but yep that's how my belly is looking this week I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, please like and subscribe to view um, more of my videos and be updated on the next time I post my next update. Um, stay tuned for next week, week 25. Wow, 25 just sounds so, so far into the pregnancy. So this is crazy. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.